The third section of our film is a comparison of buzzing with playing. When buzzing, the lips do not open as far, but both lips do vibrate. Now the same person playing the same notes on the trombone. The increased air resistance within the instrument creates a different pattern of vibration. Every performer knows that this also feels much different. One of the most important developments in contemporary trombone literature is the use of multiphonics. These are produced in two ways, humming one pitch while the lips produce another, and producing both pitches with the lips. Carl Maria von Weber used the first of these techniques in his concertino for horn and orchestra. Here we see the lips are vibrating the low B flat while the player is humming one of the other pitches the result is an additional harmonic giving us three pitches. Under these conditions, the lips are vibrating with less intensity. Here we see the lips actually vibrating in two segments. The smaller aperture appears on the player's right side. This phenomenon, along with all other aspects of lip vibration, should convince us all that the brass embouchure, the way sounds are produced, cannot be compared closely to double reeds or vibrating strings. After studying the lip vibration of trombone embouchures and observing those of other brass instruments through this type of transparent mouthpiece, I am convinced that the basic principles of embouchure are common to all the brasses. <laughs> 